Hey everybody, I'm Steven, here to show you how to install the April Air UVC coil cleaner. Here's what you're going to need to get the job done today. A battery operated power drill with a quarter inch drill bit, 3 eighths fluted drill bit, a unibit going up to one inch in diameter, a Phillips screwdriver with a numbered two bit, wire strippers, thermostat two wire, 18 gauge, two wire nuts or equivalent connectors, a utility knife, Sharpie, and a tape measure. Before we get started, make sure all power is disconnected from the HVAC equipment. This can be done in the breaker box, as well as at the on unit switch. Now that the power is shut off, the first step is to locate the appropriate spot for our lamp. This will be a minimum of three inches above the evaporator coil. If you're unsure where the peak of your evaporator coil is, check the literature on your specific equipment. Now that we've located the appropriate spot for our lamp, mark this location, mount the ballast within three feet. Remember, the ballast will need access to 24 volts AC, generally from the furnace motherboard. Once you've double checked the spacing and ensured access to 24 volts AC, we can begin drilling into the sheet metal. Returning to the lamp position, take your 3 8 fluted drill bit and drill a pilot hole. Next, mount the unibit to your drill and expand the lamp hole to a full 1 inch diameter. You may need to use several unibit attachments to achieve the full 1 inch diameter. Once the lamp hole has been drilled, align the mounting bracket centered on the 1 inch hole. This mounting bracket will be secured to the sheet metal using the included quarter inch zip screws. Now that we've secured the mounting bracket, it's time to move on to the ballast. Position the ballast at the previously located spot and secure to the sheet metal using the two included quarter inch zip screws. Now that we've secured the ballast, it's time to move on to installing the lamp into the mounting bracket. Start by pre-threading the two short Phillips screws into the bracket screw bosses. Remember, never touch the lamp directly with your hands. Always use the included cotton gloves when handling the lamp. Insert the bulb through the one inch hole until the shoulder makes contact with the mounting bracket. Then, take the retaining ring and align the larger slots with the previously installed Phillips pan screws. Twist lock into place and then compress the shoulder between the retaining ring and the metal bracket. And then tighten the screws down by hand to securely install your lamp. Now that the lamp is securely installed, it's time to move on to wiring 24 volts AC to the ballast. This can be accomplished by using thermostat 2 wire of 18 gauge variety. First, locate the R and C terminals on the motherboard of your particular equipment. If you're unsure where these terminals are, check your specific equipment's literature. Ensuring that there's enough bare copper wire to make good contact with your R and C terminals, loosen the Phillips screws, insert the wire, and tighten down by hand. Now it's time to connect the other end of the thermostat wire to the ballast. Using two wire connectors of your choice, connect and secure the thermostat wires to the ballast wires. If desired, you can use electrical tape to further secure the connections and keep the wires tight to the plug. With 24 volts AC wired to the ballast, we can now drill the hole for the viewport. This will allow you to see when the UV light is powered without having to have direct eye contact with the light. Locate an appropriate spot within 3 to 12 inches of the lamp. Once an appropriate spot has been located, use the 3 8 drill bit to drill a hole for the viewport. Firmly press the included viewport until the flange makes contact with the sheet metal. Finally, we're ready to plug the ballast into the lamp. Align the power terminal pins on the lamp with the female holes of the ballast plug. As this is asymmetrical, you may need to rotate it 90 degrees in order to get a firm fit. If this orientation is undesirable, you can always rotate the bulb without fully disassembling it. Apply the blue operational sticker within clear visibility of your ballast location as well as the included yellow warning sticker to let people know a UVC light is installed in this HVAC system. 
Now that everything is installed, we're ready to re-energize the HVAC equipment. Go back to the breaker, flip it to on. If you used the on unit switch, flip that to on as well. Once the HVAC equipment is powered back on, check the ballast LED indicator for its status. Allow 30 seconds for the unit to reach steady state and check for a solid red LED. If the ballast LED reads solid and you can see visible blue light through the viewport, the April Air UVC coil cleaner is functioning properly. If the LED is blinking, check the included literature for the error code or contact us at aprilairpartners.com. If after powering back on your HVAC equipment, you notice light leakage coming out of anywhere but the included viewing port, de-energize your system and seal any gaps with UVC resistant sealant. So that's our installation of the April Air UVC coil cleaner. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at aprilairpartners.com. Thank you for watching, and remember, April Air is healthy air.